and welcome back to my channel so first off I know I'm probably not like a hundred percent looking like myself but I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna get that together um but I wanted to come with a video that I've been telling you guys about and that is literally just a all things daycare per se video so as you guys may know from my update where have I been video okay that is back in daycare and I am back working and literally that whole entire process was just like crazy like it was out of this world crazy so I just wanted to come and share with you guys some of my experiences and some of what I you know pretty much went through while looking for a daycare um so literally one day I just woke up and I was like you know what I want to go back to work like it was kind of in the works already, but there was just this one day that I was like, I can't start looking for work until I know for a fact that my child has somewhere that she can go every day and that's reliable and all that good stuff. So I said, it makes more sense to look for daycare before I have a job lockdown. Um, so I started looking within centers and the reason I started looking in centers is because I'm not from the area. I don't really know anyone. I really couldn't have any like um, commendable, you know, reliable recommendations. And I think that's like the number one important thing when it comes to daycare. So if it's a center, you can kind of go off like recommendations off like Google, but that's really all you have to um, lean on because you don't have like a personal recommendation because you don't know anyone I think that a personal recommendation is the best way to go but of course everyone can't do that sometimes just like me I ended up getting lucky with the outcome but I mean for me I really had to rely on Google and rely on what those sources were telling me so I started my search on Google and number one, the number one tip I would give you on when looking for daycares is before you even schedule a tour, let them know your child's age <laughs> because I'm telling you like they will literally sit in like, okay, no, not even let them know your age because I did let them know my age. Let them know your age and ask the specific question do you have any openings right now because what they'll do is that they'll schedule a tour knowing that we don't have any openings and it's like uh so you know so i would really per, like suggest that you not only give the age when you want them to start if there's openings immediately because if there's not you're pretty much still in the same situation and you're pretty much like so what am i supposed to do with my kid so what I did is I went on Google, I jotted down um, pretty much daycares that were either like right in the center. So either way, like where I was going to be working, which I didn't know at the time, but wherever I was going to be working, I wanted a daycare that was like kind of in the center. So I wasn't far away and I wasn't, you know, like too far and stuff like that. So those were what I was looking at. I was also looking at daycares with drop-in options. Um, so KDOT's dad has a very interesting schedule and it's not your normal nine to five. So I really wanted something that had a drop-in schedule because I wasn't gonna be paying a center full time and she did not have to go full time. So um, I was looking for a place where maybe she could drop in two or three days out of the week. So number one, the problem with that was that KDOT is not two, and a lot of places start at age two um, for drop-in. I don't know if it has anything to do with like the fact that they're more like potty trained or whatever, but most places do start at age two. And the second thing was that um, it had to be a scheduled, like it had to be scheduled days. So it had to be like they come every Tuesday, Thursday. And with us, that just was not the case. It literally was like, it can be any, you know, any kind of two days or three days out of the week. So that was my first problem was that with most centers, I was definitely going to be looking at full time anyway, because they did not take 
a part-timer. So then I was, I felt defeated and I felt like I was right back at square one. Um, and it's funny because this, this one center did call and say that they would take her part-time because another part-timer that was her exact age was leaving, but the only problem was, um, they can only do it Thursday, Friday because that's the part-time days that the little girl had. So that was really frustrating. So we went and toured, did we? I think we ended up only touring one daycare center. Um, and it was really interesting. Um, it's really interesting to look at the classrooms and look at like how the teachers are engaging. Um, but at the end of the day, a daycare center is just more of a business. And um, in my mind, I knew that like she probably would have to go there because I did not know anybody, you know, who had a home daycare. But I was like, I don't really want her in a center. It just seemed so like drop off you know just so like I wouldn't say structured but just so like business it wasn't it didn't feel like home it didn't feel like family it didn't feel like I was going to be dropping her off to like family um so I literally was like okay you know what never mind screw it I don't even have to go back to work um and then her dad was going to get his hair cut and his barber ended I guess they were just like having a convo and he ended up recommending a home daycare and so um when he told me I was like yes oh my gosh this is exactly what I wanted I wanted a freaking home daycare so um what was I about to say oh so I literally contacted that lady immediately because I'm like with these prices and everything there's no doubt about it that she is going to fill this spot if I don't take it so I scheduled to meet with her that next Monday um, we went over there I mean everything was structured and that is something that I can tell you um, when visiting a home daycare number one try to visit as close to possible that kids are there so she actually offered um us to come during the daytime but she also had said that her um help the other teacher was not going to be there and i just didn't want to be like there asking questions and she's trying to like juggle all this stuff at the same time but definitely have someone who you feel like you can um I won't, I won't say pop up on, but doesn't feel like don't show up here without calling me. You know what I'm saying? So when we went, we actually went at the end of the day, but there were still kids there. You could still see like the, the rotation going. You can still see like clear as day. This is how, this is how our typical day would look. You know, you've seen parents coming, you've seen that interaction. And I think that's very important because it, it's not one thing kids don't hide anything so you can definitely see like if something's like crazy um when walking in so when we walked in we were greeted um she you know after talking to us she immediately said like you know your family because you know I had told her I don't have any family here and she you know literally said like I don't want to hear you say that anymore you do have family here like we're gonna take care of her like that's our goal and I just felt like an instant connection with them but more importantly I seen KDOT's connection and it was just so like genuine um she went right to her she went to the stuff it was engaging it was you know it was just everything that like you want to see when you're um when you're passing your kid off for like more than half of the week you know like I feel like I mean if you subtract sleeping time she's with her more than she's with me during the week so it's very important to me that it's someone that I trust I did not want to be that parent that you know is calling all day texting all day I wanted someone where I really did not worry when she was there and that's what I have um so after that meeting um and you know that introduction she started a couple days later and the first day I was so nervous because I'm like oh my gosh this is gonna be like terrible like dropping her off y'all when I tell you like I dropped her off and she was like bye like see ya girl um and you know it was like it was a bittersweet moment because it was um it was like 
I was happy. And I have to hurry up before my camera dies. But it was kind of like when we went, she remembered where we were. And that was a really good feeling. Um, so I would just say, do your research. If you do have someone that can give you a like personal recommendation, someone you know, trust, whatever, definitely get that. Um, but at the end of the day, just make sure that you feel comfortable when you're taking your kid. I don't ever feel like when I'm leaving out the door, I'm like, oh my gosh, is she okay? And I, I think that's so important. So that would be the number one thing I would recommend you guys. And, you know, if you're thinking of t taking your kids to daycare, just make sure it's somewhere that you really trust and somewhere that you feel good about. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video on this a great Mommy Monday. Um, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and comment down below how you guys feel about daycares and your experiences. Do not tell me any scary experiences. Um, but, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.